thing about this place, I could come in here once a week and just study the cars that are in here because they're so, so freaking unique. We've got people that think they'll be here for an hour or two. And then... Is this a new collection? He had his other stuff here for two years and now he's switched. Rotating them out, yeah. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So those are simple things to collect, except a lot of money. This is the number one right here? First one they built. How'd you guys track this thing down? This wasn't here. Yeah, so the owners of it were, this, were the, the same family that bought it back in 1921. And they had a total frame off restoration done to it because it had been at their family farm for 90 some years. What state did it come out of? California. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it, it was used and abused. And Is that the, paint the brown? Interior was all eaten out of it. And was yeah. that? Is it brown? It's black. Oh, yep. it almost black. looks brown in there for some reason. Like, I don't it was know. It's like a flat black. Wow. But anyway, they had it full, fully restored, completely restored back to 1921 configuration because it went back to the Duesenberg shop in 1928 and yeah. had refurbishments to the brakes and some interior work done to it. Absolutely incredible. And then the family in 2019 was looking for a place to donate it because it was just sitting around. They, they took it to shows. They were kind of yeah. you know, done using it and they wanted it to be right. appreciated. And so we, we got hold of them and uh, reached out to them and, and they're... They're happy and content that it's they're, here. They're happy and content. We had, hey, it's we had back where it belongs. the National Mall. It's yeah. the Historic Vehicle Association Registry. Wow. And Number one. Number one. Man, that gives me the chills.